for all in the morning I'm thinking about money I need it, I want it I can't even sleep Shout out to all my trappers It's Henny Man, we definitely back there So check it out, before we get into this crazy fuckery I want to say check out Body that drops on YouTube today November 28th At uh, 12pm noon I also want to say The Out of Henny Man vs. Floss the Balls drop on Gates of the Garden. Shout out Dre Dennis and them. Dropped yesterday. Check that out. All right, we're going to get straight into this shit, man. You know what I mean? First of all, I want to say shout out J Black and Champion, Tech Nine and them. I want to say shout out Angry Fan. You know what I mean? Both pillars in the culture. Both, but the culture needs these guys. You know what I mean? So I want to say that. I also want to say shout out to Vada, Sun God. Uh, Fat Boy, uh, DME, uh, PSA, um, Bl- uh, Black Compass. You know what I mean? My nigga Three Letter Man over at PSA. I want to specify because he do the blogs outside of just the radio. Um, it's, it's, it's a couple people. You know what I mean? All right. So apparently, I'm going to put this tweet up. So apparently, people was offended by this tweet. Because I said some bloggers are making all of us look bad. So they deserve to get knocked the fuck out. I will be honest, I did not. I've been talking crazy on Twitter since forever. I didn't think this tweet was going to gain all this traction or whatever. So now that it has, apparently it's blogger after blogger after blogger speaking on it and has been speaking to me. And I haven't even been aware of it till this morning. When, it, when this outrageous nigga decides to speak on it. Check this out, y'all. These vloggers you talk about, you trying to get niggas to put hands on, nigga. There's some, some real niggas out here. Don't do it. I'm telling you, you better fucking recant that shit. You better recant that shit, my nigga. You gonna get somebody fucked up. Like, for real. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do for you, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do for you. Because, like... That tweet, not not mine, it, never in mine, but that shit raised a few brows out of some of these vloggers to where, you know what I'm saying, niggas is now questioning should they go to these events now because of your fucking tweet, my nigga. <laughs> Word? I bet. Bet. Um, hey, y'all, I got 10 bands. I got 10 bands for anybody that sent me a video of knocking this nigga D out of the Henny Man head off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. See, you you asking you asking these fans to drop vloggers for the love. For the free for the free 99, huh? <laughs> hey boy, Christmas right around the corner. Shit just got real for you, my nigga. Shit just got real ill. <laughs> that nigga D out of Henny Man we got there putting his shoes on. That nigga just heard my video. nigga said, <laughs> Now, before y'all say it, I already understand what Slim is trying to say. He's trying to say that this is the energy that I put into the world. And what if it happened to me? Well, what if it happened to me? I don't, up until this situation, I don't put that into the world of battle rap. I've dealt with that too much in my regular life. I don't like to put negativity into the world. This is just a situation where I wasn't thinking about the wording, things that I find funny, people might not find funny. So, you know what I mean? People might not understand my sarcasm. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm really from the hood. Things happen every day in the hood that you kind of got to laugh about after it happened. A nigga getting knocked the fuck out is funny to me. You know what I mean? It's not, I mean, the nigga, ain't like I said, shoot the nigga in the head or nothing. You know what I mean? So, I, I didn't even mean to put that type of energy into the world, really. I just thought that I was joking. You know what I mean? Niggas took it serious, whatever, whatever. So, I understand what he's trying to say, but these, the, the, the individual type people that I'm talking about do put negativity into the world on the daily basis. And if something negative happened to them, so be it. Is it is really how I feel? I don't think to do. Uh, and on top of that, this guy knows that I'm not talking about him. To be honest with you, the way I feel is, if you're not the type of blogger that I'm talking about, then I'm speaking for you. So for all these people 
to take offense to it is like almost saying that you're this type of person rather than realizing that these type of people are what's making us look bad you know what i mean anyway let's get back into this shit so yeah this uh bluffing mcmuffin with extra stuffing fake tin rack having ass dirty money but he keep it clean no ass nigga has a has a really crazy opinion and originally i wanted to make this blog and i actually did i'm not gonna lie i did a 15 minute blog just now shitting on him but i'm not gonna put that out i'm not gonna get this man no light i don't i, I don't know his name i don't want to know his name yeah you know i mean i did not dedicate it to memory i screenshot that for y'all put it out laughed at it kept it moving it's a fucking clown all right But I do want to say to this guy, my nigga, don't get the Henny Mind shit food, you feel me? I'm I'm a young black father of 11 children that is trying to change my life because I've been in the streets my whole entire life, nigga. Caught my first case at 12, my nigga. Nigga, I was breaking the houses in at 15, nigga. You feel me? I, I, I was hustling and catching cases by 18, my nigga. Been in all types of street fights, lived that whole street life, nigga. Like, uh, check my album out on on Tidal, type in Henny Man. Listen to my life a little bit, dog. I'm diagnosed with PTSD, nigga. That's, that's something that was invented for soldiers. Nigga, I've been through wars, my nigga. You speaking on niggas getting shot and stabbed, I've been stabbed. My niggas have been shot. We have put in work. So, the shit you talking is crazy. Especially when you know that that tweet wasn't directed at you. You know what I mean? All that to try try and make a point is retarded. I guess you, you, I mean, maybe you needed help getting your views up or getting your getting your subscribers up don't 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 take that route you know what i mean because now you you put it you put the energy into the world i'm gonna be at every event and i'm gonna need you to tap on my shoulder my nigga and say hi hey hey i'm so and so i'm a big fan and i'm also the bitch ass nigga who put out that blog on you with my uh 10 dirty ass dollars talking about his 10k now let's get into the to the grand scheme of things. Shout out Sun God. Because after I saw the bitch ass niggas blog, I saw Sun God's blog. And he put it in a perspective in a different way. Made me realize that I didn't know how big my voice had grown in the culture. The tweet had got like 200 uh like fucking hearts and mad retweets and all that. So I didn't I didn't know that that was gonna happen. And Sun God basically explained in his blog, go check out his blog if you want to, uh, that basically because I didn't say a name, it makes it seem like I'm talking about all bloggers. And I'm not, because but if anybody follows the show, they know I'm not talking about all bloggers. If anybody follows me on Twitter, they know I'm not talking about all bloggers because I'm a I'm a fan of the media. As well as the battle, I'm a fan of good battle rap media because I love good battle rap debates. My bad. Let me also shout out Let's Talk Battle Rap Podcast. One of my favorite motherfucking jumps to watch. You know what I mean? I mean to listen to. They fire. Um so I, I'm not talking about all bloggers. And so I want to specify right now who I was speaking on.
So if a nigga's disrespecting something that I'm helping build, I'ma take it personal. I don't know about you niggas. I'ma take it personal. Yeah, man. I'ma take it personal. So t- to clear up everything, no, I do not want niggas to run up on any battle rap bloggers and just knock them the fuck out. But if I'ma just keep it real. I'm not crying about it. I'm not putting the hit out. Police, feds, don't Takashi me. Don't. This this ain't no Rico shit. I ain't got no gang out here looking for all the bloggers. Bang bang, be the blogger gang. Nah, nigga. I'm not on that type of time. You feel me? At all. But don't be on that type of time with me either, though. Cause I do be at events. And I do be with niggas. And you probably gonna get your ass with before you even get to me if you look at me funny. I promise you that. You know what I mean? You probably gonna get your ass with before you even get to me. I promise you that. I mean, niggas think I'm on the Goonies dick until the Goonies whipping your ass because you tried to fuck with me. <laughs> and then they gonna be like, oh shit, it's a family thing, huh? Try I told you. Niggas think that Battle Rap Trap is just the niggas that's on camera Tell all my trap niggas hop hop from out a backpack on your ass Like nigga, what you just say? <laughs> what the fuck you talking to? Fuck this nigga, this is Henny nigga What's wrong with y'all, man? So, uh In closing I hope y'all enjoyed this blog This is the only This is, this is the only time I want to have to address bullshit through a blog, but this is a storm that I created. I'm, I'm grown enough to admit that I created it. Don't be the blogger, guys. Do not be a blogger. Don't put your hands on nothing. Don't, 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 don't hit Sun God. You better not touch Sun God. That's my name. DME Detroit. I fuck with him and that whole little itchy thing he got. <laughs> That's my nigga. Of course, angry fan. What up, nigga? You good? Yeah, man. Uh, a nigga J Black shake my hand, you know what I mean? Vada Fly, Rice Gang in the building. Let's talk battle rap, you know what I mean? PSA, Three Letter Man. These these are my guys, though. Like, I, I watch these niggas. I feel like I know them. And for the most part, I never seen these niggas a day in my life other than a few of them. I fuck with these niggas. So don't put your hands on none of the bloggers, man. Please. Please don't. Because it's been brought to my attention that if something happens to a blogger, it's going to be on me. And I don't want to have to live with that. But if you can knock the fuck out, it is what it is, nigga. Uh, not for real. Shout out to all my trappers, dog. I, I can see now that the channel is growing. People are... Forming more and more hate. It's even a nigga. Hey, check this comment out. <laughs> it's even a nigga that said he claimed he from where I'm from. Claimed that I got a whole wife. I broke her whole arm. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I won't battle nobody from where I'm from because of it. Nigga, I don't got a wife. I got a I got a steady girlfriend who's never had a broken bone in her life. She got fat ass, but it, I didn't swell it up. <laughs> and I've battled plenty of DMV niggas. I'm undefeated. If nothing else, I'm undefeated against my DMV niggas. I got another battle versus Murdoch, a DC nigga this weekend. I'm going to fuck him up too. So, I don't like it's Apparently, it's just a thing right now to hate on Henny. I'm going to tell y'all like this, man. Fake niggas will never make me be fake, man. I'm always going to be a hundred. I'm always going to be real. I'm always going to be Henny, nigga. Battle rap trap. And to the other broke ass, dusty ass, corny ass, dick in the mouth ass, nigga. Hey. 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 You. You, boy. You. Purchase your tracks today. It's Henny, nigga. Battle rap trap. We got the streets, nigga. Know where you at, nigga. It's four in the morning. I'm thinking about money. I need it, I want it, I can't even sleep